Hello everybody, just a little video from the cave again. Um, I made a few videos from the shed, the man cave. So what I'm about to show you is I've been working on a little project, uh, Bedini, Bedini motor, uh, supposedly free energy, so I just thought I'd give it a go. A bit of spare time, got a few bits and bobs together and um, made a few coils. Trifiler coil. One is the pulse drive coil. And I think there's a timing. You've got a timing circuit, which basically consists of, um, it's got a rectifier circuit on here as well. And every time the Hall Effect transistor picks up the magnet magnetic field, it basically just um, pulses the magnets round. There's five magnets on this wheel. This is just an old, actually it's my son's scooter wheel that I've just totally, well, he'd never used it, so I just decided to borrow it for this experiment. But yeah, there's five magnets, all north, north facing out at 72 degrees. And the trifiler there, it's got two charge coils on it, and there's a charge coil there, which is slightly different because that's single, singly wound. There's three lots of um, wire on there with a rectifier circuit, which is basically that rectifier circuit there is the one that's actually charging the drive battery. This is uh, the drive battery which is supplying the pulse. So every time the magnet passes the hall sensor, sends a pulse powered by the drive battery there through the drive winding which then fires it round but it's only on the second half of the winding because it'll only switch once it's past that but then what's happening is at the same time it's pulsing on the one coil it's charging on the other three so then I've got another coil which I've started to build the spool for I'm just waiting for the wire to come through so I can get that up and running but yeah, I mean, it rotates, I don't know, I don't know if it's going to rotate faster with another coil, but I'll soon find out once I get the other coil built. So I'll just give you an idea that the, it's around about 11.3 volts to drive, the drive battery set at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll fire it up. I'll fire it up, you just turn this switch and then you can see and then it'll maybe start charging. It starts turning, whilst it's turning, it's actually charging through this and the other two coils on the trifiler. But at the moment, it's actually giving off 10.4 volts. That's how much is pulse, pulsing through this, this small diodes. I've got them in three so that it'd be a lot low resistance. So you get most of the voltage coming through. So they're basically pulsing that and you're gonna have half a cycle every other cycle. And which is what is charging these batteries here, but I'm not actually got these connected at the moment, so I can wire these up, plug them in. Basically, I've plugged these into this battery here. This is paralleled across. So these two batteries are now being charged as well. These two batteries are being charged by the three diodes there. This is kind of halfway rectification. And the pulse coil is being charged pulse coil battery, which is that one there, is being charged through this projector fire. So this is getting a nice smooth DC into there. As you can see, on this moment you can just about to see it, it's charging about 10.7 volts. And this one, I'm not, oh, I'm just gonna, or maybe this one, um, we've got 12 volts. 
going into the T. These are the batteries that if you was running on a power supply, you'd have these connected to an inverter, so you'd be drawing power off of these two batteries, whilst this one's also being charged by pulsing the circuit. But yeah, I mean, so far it's looking good. It's not, it's no way over unity or anything like that. It's got free energy at the moment. But I will soon see once I get these other coil connected, which I'm in the process of building. There's the, the core, the iron core, just to make it a bit more effective. But yeah, that's the start. This is spinning up at the moment. Uh, nearly 1200 RPM. But yeah. Look, so there's the circuit, which is the sensor for all of that turns and stuff. Which is, I think basically, if you look down, it's positioned in place of where one of the coils is. So if I had another one, two, three coils, the whole effect sensor would just be slipped underneath. So then, it obviously wouldn't get in the way of the charge, but it would um, also be effective for triggering the actual pulse, but as you can see now, it's probably up at about maybe 1200 RPM. I'm not sure if it will run quicker as you get the extra pulse coil in, but I think it's a stroke pulse, stroke charge coil, but yeah, so far so good. It's something to do. As you see there, just get it, get it going.